What it do, y'all, man? What's going on, man? Welcome back to the Protest Sports Network. It's your boy, Protest Sports. Back with another video for y'all today, man. Hope you're having a blast. Hope staying safe, staying healthy. Five years of all glory to God. When I'm God, I'm not wrapping this out right now. God gave me another day to open the doors and pay ways for everybody. And hope God's opening the door and pay ways for all you guys. And God giving you doors that you, and that you know you should close. And chapter you should close to open up new chapters in Jesus' name. We pray amen today. Today's video is on my expectations for wide receiver Terry McLaurin. This 2022 NFL season going to his last year's rookie deal. And with a new quarterback in Carson Wentz. So you guys my expectations for, for Terry McLaurin this year and what I think Terry should be able to accomplish this year individually and what he can do for his teammates to help them succeed as well this year. So we're going to look at Terry McLaurin's statistics in the last three years and see the progression of Terry <clears throat> with bad quarterback play, by the way. So I want to go ahead and uh, state that as well. So let's go ahead and look up his stats real quick so we can go smack into this so we won't miss a dag on things. We ain't trying to miss a dag on things over here at the Protest Sports Network. So let's get, right, let's get, let's get smack into this, Mike. So this is his statistics from, from 2019 all the way to last season, 2021. So... Let's get started to this. So, Terry McLaurin has played 46 games in his NFL career. He's had 222 receptions for 3,090 yards, 13.9 yards per reception, 16 touchdowns, and also 407 fantasy points. If you don't know where he's from, he was born in uh, September 15, 1995. He's 26 years of age, about to turn 27 in September. He's from Indianapolis, Indiana. Went to Ohio State, of course, you already know that. He went to Cathedral High School in Indiana. He was drafted by the Washington Redskins at the time with the 76 pick in the 2019 NFL draft. And this Instagram handle is Terry underscore too fast. So go ahead, follow him on Instagram if you have not done so. But let's get smack into the man. Let's see what let's see what scary Terry, Android 17, whatever you want to call him, what he has done in his career so far. I call him Android 17, that boy not human, you know how you're rocking. So yeah, man. First year, nine, uh, 93 targets, 58 catches, 919 yards. He had a 100-yard first game debut against the Philadelphia Eagles. Y'all remember that like it was yesterday. He had a 75-yard touchdown. He almost had another 75-yard touchdown if Case Keenum actually didn't throw it to his hands. Seven TDs, 15.8 yards per reception. Career high, by the way. Uh, 75 was his long. That was in week one. He averaged 65.6 yards per game at a 62.4 catch percentage and yards per target being around 10 yards. So, yeah, that's that. The next year, he progressed even more. Uh, he had 87 receptions with 134 targets, so the targets went up a ton. He had 1,118 yards, 12.9 yards per catch, four TDs. His long was 68 yards. Remember, that was against the Giants when he caught the, you could say, a seven route. Broke tackles, got out of there, 68 yards that way, Terry McLaurin touchdown. Also, he had another 75-yard touchdown versus the Eagles in his rookie season. I'm going to go ahead and state that as well. Uh, yeah, so receptions per game were at 5.8. Yards per game were at 74.5. Catch percentage went to 65. And yards per target did go down to 8.3. Uh, last year was his career low in catch percentage, though, at 59.2. Uh, the career low in yards per game at 61.9. Receptions were at 4.5 per game. His long was only 46 yards. That was against the Eagles in week 14. We caught the bomb uh, with Garrett Gilbert, at quarterback. Five TDs, which not as nice career low. And his 13.7 yards per reception is second to his, is like a, the median between the three seasons. He had a 1,053 yards receiving over, over on 77 catches with 130 targets. So that is what he has done so far in his career. He's not run the ball a ton. He had a couple, he had a couple carries in 2020 and one carry last year, but he doesn't don't really run the ball that much. So we don't really worry about that with Terry McLaurin's game. Yeah. So that's what he has done so far in his NFL career. Now I think he has the best quarterback he's ever played with. You understand, he's done these things with Dwayne Haskins. Alex Smith, Case Keenum, Colt McCoy, Taylor Heineke, Ralph Fitzpatrick, Kyle Allen, at seven quarterbacks right there. Gary Gilbert, of 
to get right on. Start the game too. That's a lot of quarks he's played with, man. And he's done this. This is the best quarks he ever played with. I expect Terry McLaurin to have a 1,400 yard season this year. I'm going to say 100 catches, his first 100 catch season in his whole career, on 145 targets, 1,400 yards, 10 touchdowns. Give me 10 TDs for Terry McLaurin, Terry 2 5. Give my man Terry 2 5. Android 17. You know what I'm saying? Scary Terry. 1,400 yards, 10 touchdowns off 100 catches at least. Maybe more. <coughs> Still a little cold, sorry. It might be more like 110 catches maybe, but I do expect at least 100 catches, at least 1,400 yards, and at least 10 touchdowns from Terry McLaurin this year in 2022. What are your expectations for wide receiver Terry McLaurin, our face of our Washington Commanders franchise going into 2022? Like, comment, subscribe to our new term for notifications. Always catch a protest post video at the protest post network. I put God for safety. It's COVID. I love y'all. I'll take it easy, man. I pray I get better soon, bro. And y'all have a great rest of your day and rest of your week. Let's attack the week, as my man Dylan Morgan would say. Peace.